Welcome back. Last time, we talked about the design of a golf shaft. Now that we have our flags of prepreg material cut out, we're gonna to need to make the actual golf shaft. And to do that, we're gonna use a steel mandrel. Now this steel mandrel is tapered in diameter to get the shape and geometry that we need for the golf shaft. Now, depending on the performance aspects we need for that shaft, we're gonna have various different mandrels, shapes and sizes to accomplish those design goals. As we roll on the individual prepreg flags on this mandrel, the diameter gets built up. And once we're done, we're gonna put a cello tape on the outside of the layup. And it's gonna compress all those flags and apply pressure when we cure the epoxy resin that's in the layup. So there's a small overlap of cello tape material on here, and we're gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna cure the epoxy resin, and after we're done, we'll slide the mandrel out, and we'll be left with a one solid homogeneous golf shaft that we're ready for finishing. So next time, we're gonna talk about some of the properties of the shaft.